Hello traders and Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here coming to you on the last trading day of May. It's the 29th of May and we're going to be looking at all the major indices on a, on a monthly basis to see how they're closing on a monthly basis. But first I want to show you a stock that we talked about on the 27th of this month and that was eBay. eBay looks like it's closing in new high ground for the week and for the month. And we said basically if we close this over 59.87 that's the highest weekly close we've had. We want to be long this stock. It looks like it wants to go higher. Let me give you some points that we're looking at very quickly. So we take it from the lows here, right around the 56 level, to the highs, and I'm going to call that 61. So you've got $5 from the highs here. So I think we're looking at somewhere around 66 plus. So let's see what happens there. But it's about a 10% move from where we are right now, which I think will be a very, very nice move. But think for the weekend, if we close towards the highs, I think it's a smart weekend trade as well. Buy it on the weekend, Friday, today. Sell it on Tuesday on the opening for a very short-term gain. Let's go look at the major markets now that we talked about earlier. Okay, we're back, and we'll be looking at the, this is the Dow. It's a monthly chart of the Dow, going back to, April of 2013. As you can see, and this is the important thing to look at, let's scope this into just a six month chart. You can see this is a higher close than the previous month, which was right here. So if you look at this very closely, you can see this was last month. This is April right here. And this is this month. And you can clearly see that this close is going to be higher than we were previous month. So a positive month for the Dow, which is up, up just about 1.12%. Same picture with the S&P 500. This could be actually a new high close, monthly high close for the S&P 500. Very, very positive in our opinion. It's not over yet. Markets do not close higher and not continue higher. That's the thing. On the NASDAQ, look at where this NASDAQ is closing. Super, super high, right on the highs, 5,084 currently. Big gains for the month. You're up about 2.34% for the month. Very positive gains on that particular index. Let's take a look at the other markets. Gold, you can see it very flat in the previous month, April. Just barely moved this month. Actually about 0.5%. Not very, very big at all. Just flattening out. Maybe it's going to get ready to do something later in the year, but let's watch it right now. But for now, it's very flat. It's below the 50 line. No strong trend involved. Crude oil, this is a massive 18% gain in April. Normal for a little pullback. I would expect the market to regroup and continue higher. That's the that's the things that we're looking at right now in this market. Lastly, on the euro dollar, big, big month in April. Uh, short covering. A lot of people were in this trade short the euro dollar covered their position. We're seeing a little bit more of a pullback this month in May. Let's see how that plays out. But generally speaking, I think the key here is going to be for us is going to be the high of 114.64. If we go over that level, I think we're going to see another bull market in the euro. Here's the situation. Everybody's thinking euro, the Greece, the tragedy over there, we're going to collapse. Could well be, who knows, but the reality is this is a very strong month in April. Come back. We're more of a trading range right now, and that's the way you should treat it. Hey, I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody, and good trading in June. I hope uh, this is a good month for you. And let's look at the big trends at the end of the month, and let's use those trade triangles to capture those moves. Have a great weekend, everyone.